When doing high repetitions of sit-ups, we want something to cushion this lumbar curve of our lower back so that it doesn't flatten into the floor every time we do our sit-up. An ab mat is made for this specifically, but many of us probably don't have an ab mat at home, and that's no problem. We'll grab a towel, blanket, sweatshirt, something else that we can use to cushion our lumbar curve. Remember, this cushion is for our lower back, so we're not actually sitting on it, we're just setting it behind us so that whenever we lie back to do our sit up, our lumbar spine has something to support it. I'll show you three different ways to have your legs positioned while doing sit-ups. We'll start with knees up. All we do now is sit back until our shoulder blades touch the floor. I like to reach back and just lightly touch the floor. This reminds me to sit all the way back. Then we're crunching our core muscles until we sit up with our shoulders stacked over our hips. The second way to have our legs is to put them in a butterfly with the soles of our feet together and our knees out to the side. All the other principles of the sit-up remain the same. We're sitting back, touching our shoulder blades back, and then sitting up until our shoulders are stacked over our hips. The third way to put our legs is for our legs to be out long. Everything else about the sit-up remains the same. Sitting back, touching our shoulder blades back, gently touching the floor with our hands and then sitting all the way up. The option that you choose for your legs is up to you. They all work our ab muscles a little bit differently, but really it comes down to personal preference. When I'm doing a workout with a lot of sit-ups, I like to change up my leg position every time I sit down to do sit-ups. That way, I know that I'm getting a well-rounded core workout. The two main mistakes that I see when people do sit-ups is that when they get tired, it's tempting to lift their butt up and use that as momentum to help them sit up. Do not do this. It's very dangerous for your lower back. The second mistake I see is for people to pull on their heads, and this can be dangerous for your neck. I recommend either crossing the hands in front of the shoulders or, like I prefer to do, tap the hands back and then bring the hands forward. If you'd like to use a little bit of momentum of straightening those arms out as you sit up, that's fine, as long as we're not pulling on our heads. Now that we know our options for sit-ups and how to cushion our backs for safety, you're ready to get back to the workout that you were just about to get started.